So mermaids also appear in the folklore and um, kind of retellings of a lot of cultures. Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing something fun. We're going to be starting the October series. So during the course of this month, I'm gonna be dropping cool videos relating to anything like folklore, mythology. We're going to be doing some creepy stories. So anything really supernatural or like um, myth mythological, that's what we're gonna be doing throughout the course of this month to celebrate Halloween. So yeah guys, today the topic is going to be on mermaids now i don't know about you guys but throughout my whole childhood i always believed in mermaids that was like my thing i love watching the little mermaid in my culture what people do a lot of the times is you would tell stories so growing up people would always tell all kinds of stories like about the supernatural we, they would tell stories about things like ghosts and poltergeists and things like that so i always loved hearing the mermaid stories and the wish stories we're gonna cover all of that cool stuff this month so today we're gonna be doing mermaid so just a background on mermaids for those of you who don't know mermaids are considered to be the humans of the sea so what a mermaid is is uh, aquatic being that is considered to be half human and half fish so the lower part of their body would be the fish part and the mermaid is said to have a tail a scaled tail that helps them swim and the top part of their body is obviously the human half so um that is what they're considered to be and there have been um recountings by sailors throughout times that have said that they've spotted mermaids while out at sea. Now, even Christopher Columbus was said to have spotted a mermaid. He wrote about it in his um, diaries while he was sailing the world in 1493. Now, the mermaid that he was said to have spotted was not an actual mermaid. People believed that what he saw were manatees um, and because he had never seen them before, he confused them for mermaid while out in the ocean. You know, sometimes the ocean can be mysterious and with the sun glaring down and everything, um, he might have mistaken them and seen hallucinated a little bit. So that's what people think. So now we're gonna get into a little bit of the history of mermaids. A little bit of the history of mermaids. So mermaids also appear in the folklore and um, kind of retellings of there a lot of stories of mermaids in um, Asian culture and European culture and African culture. So like I said, it's not just a a small group of people that have said that they have encountered them it's a large group of people so it is said in folklore that in ancient Assyria the goddess Artagamas transformed herself into a mermaid out of shame of having killed her lover therefore mermaids are sometimes associated with bad events such as flooding some tropical storms and shipwrecks um, there have been many um, pirates out at sea and just see um, people out at sea that have said that the mermaids lured them into rocks and made them crash their ships now granted like i said these are just recounting so we can't necessarily believe what they say but that is the lore of it now i don't want you guys to confuse mermaids with sirens mermaids and sirens now have become one and the same in our history but a siren was traditionally a greek um mythical creature that was more bird-like while a mermaid is fish-like but throughout time those two um things have been mixed and confused so we're talking today about mermaids Going back to the folklore of uh, Assyria, the story has it that the goddess Artagus, let me just check if that's her name, yes, Artagus, she fell in love with a mortal, but she ended up killing him accidentally. And full of shame, she jumped into the water, she jumped into um, the lake, and when she jumped into the lake, she took on the form of a fish. But the legend has it that the waters cannot conceal her beauty, which is why she ended up being half human. Now, there's also a story about Alexander the Great's sister. Alexander the Great's sister ended up being turned into her mermaid after her death. She would ask the sailors that would pass by one single question, was, which was, is Alexander 
the great still alive? Now, the correct answer that was said to answer her was, he lives and reigns and conquers the world. Now, if any of the sailors would give a different answer, she would then turn the waters into a storm, which again goes back to the belief that mermaids were able to cause storms. There are also folklores of mermaids in Korea. Now, I don't know if you guys watch K-dramas or not, but in um, the K-drama titled The Legend of the Blue Sea, there is a portrayal of an actual Korean folklore where the mayor of the town, Kim dam Myung saved four mermaids who were captured. Now, this story um, and folklore was turned into a drama called The Legend of the Blue Sea. It is starring... Um, it is starring Jung Ji Hyun and Lee Min Ho. I totally recommend that story to you guys. It's very interesting. And they did a wonderful job um, portraying the story. So that's one aspect of a mermaid. Now mermaids are said to be one of two things. They are either these deceptive, um, manipulative creatures who lure men to their death by sticking on a rock or just um, calling them in on rocks and luring them in and um, this way they were able to lure them and wreck their ships or they're perceived as benevolent creatures who enjoy the water, enjoy um, the nature and who live out their lives just like any other being and in modern times there have been many people who have claimed to spot mermaids there have been many hoaxes um, of people who have claimed to have found mermaid bodies one of the most um, famous historical examples of this is the Fiji mermaid, which was exhibited in England, in London to be specific, in 1822. Now this Fiji mermaid was said to have been manufactured in Japan. So they just took fish parts and monkey parts. So basically what they did was they took the head of a monkey and sewed it onto the lower body of a fish and created this, this hoax. And they had it exhibited in London for the longest time and people went and saw it. It was a very popular attraction. People genuinely believe that this was a mermaid, but of course we know it's not. Scientists have pondered the possibility of mermaids existing and they've come to the conclusion that it is very unlikely. The reasons being, because they would have a very difficult time thermal regulating their bodies. They would also have a very difficult time um, reproducing um, due to the fact that they would be half fish, half human. That would not be possible under the current um, scientific laws. We know in science today that different species are not able to breed. Also, there's a big difference in the digestive systems of humans and fish. Therefore, this mermaid if potentially a true real being would have a very difficult time eating therefore they wouldn't be able to survive in the long run and also the number one reason why scientists have agreed that this is an impossibility is because there is no evidence of all the people who recount their stories and say that they have seen mermaids none of them have any evidence to back them up so that is one major reason so this is it for today, you guys. Tell me, do you believe in mermaids? Do you think they're real? I personally still want to believe in the lore of mermaids. I just think it's an interesting and fun story. And as a child, I always just loved the concept of a mermaid. Um, fun fact, when I was a kid, I used to pretend to be a mermaid every time I'd go swimming in like the river or the pools. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Remember, we're gonna be doing a series this month, so more videos are coming up if you guys want to suggest any magic mythical creatures or or anything supernatural down below that you guys want me to cover let me know and i'll make sure to do that see you guys later bye